When there are decades of comic book history to pull from for a superhero blockbuster, it's impossible to include all the fan favorite moments and characters. But that doesn't stop the directors, writers, stars, and crew from filling the movies with details and jokes that the average fan might miss out on. If you're a fan of our hidden details and movie series, stick around until the end for links to our other great videos. Here are Screen Rant's 10 amazing hidden details in movies. Superhero Edition. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 When Peter Parker finally decides to find out what his father was up to before he disappeared, all the clues point towards a single word, Roosevelt. One possible answer Peter comes across is the Roosevelt Island Tramway. In the original Spider-Man movie, Green Goblin made Peter choose between saving Mary Jane and one of that exact tramway's cars. Fans may be torn on which version of Spider-Man was best, but it's nice to see the reboot give the original a nod. Captain America, The Winter Soldier In the world of all-time great movie pairings, Paul Newman and Robert Redford are at the top of the list. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid made them massive stars, and The Sting led them to the top of the box office. The pair would remain lifelong friends until Newman's death in 2008, ending the hopes that they'd share the screen one more time. But when Redford landed the part of the villain in Captain America, The Winter Soldier, the crew made sure to honor his famous partner. When Redford's character is seen getting a carton of milk from his refrigerator, Newman makes a cameo with a bottle of the late actor's Newman's own marinara sauce, making sure that Butch and Sundance ride again, even if it's just for a second. Man of Steel Most of General Zod's soldiers are left to the background, without names or lines. But it's hard to miss the oversized Kryptonian that eventually teams up with Feora to beat Superman to a pulp. But his name, or how he became a giant, is never explained, unless you know your comic book Kryptonians. The soldier is Nam Ek, who in the comics tried to unlock the healing powers of the Rondor, a Kryptonian animal with horns that healed all sickness. When he tested his results on himself, he became a massive, super strong monster. The same story is secretly at work here, but you can catch a glimpse of the Rondor grazing outside jor -El Citadel. Thor The Dark World When the action is over, Thor's girlfriend Jane Foster is left waiting, not knowing when the hero will return to Earth. She only had to wait until the end of the credits when the two share a passionate kiss, a more passionate kiss than fans had ever seen. That's probably because it's not Natalie Portman kissing him. When it came time to film the scene, Chris Hemsworth was available, but Portman wasn't. Luckily, Hemsworth's wife, Fast and Furious actress Elsa Pataki, was traveling with him. With her profile close enough to work, she threw on the wardrobe and a wig, and the couple gave audiences a kiss that could never be faked. The Dark Knight in the world of Hollywood action movies, a ticking clock or timer is usually pretty useless, with minutes or seconds passing as slowly or as quickly as the movie demands. So when Batman decides he only needs 2 minutes and 30 seconds to steal a Gotham criminal out of a Hong Kong skyscraper, audiences knew it was a random number. Or was it? Bruce Wayne is nothing if not punctual, since he infiltrates the building, grabs his target, and waits for the explosives to open his exit, two and a half minutes later almost to the second. We wish every comic book movie was that easy to trust. The Wolverine Marvel fans know to keep an eye peeled for a cameo from comics legend Stan Lee in almost every film starring even one of his characters. But when Wolverine broke off from his X-Men colleagues for a standalone adventure in Japan, a cameo gag didn't quite fit with the serious tone. The Wolverine doesn't feature a Lee appearance, but when Logan is found living in the wild with only a few items to his name, one of them is a bottle of Stan Lee's whiskey, still a clear nod to the Marvel Comics creator. Avengers Age of Ultron Aside from giving Marvel's biggest heroes a supervillain to fight, the Age of Ultron also introduced fans to the African nation of Wakanda and the potential villain for its hero Black Panther. Apparently, the effects team was doing some homework of their own. When Bruce Banner investigates Claw's brand, the text on screen is actually the first two paragraphs of the Wikipedia page on the fictional country's history. That means Banner learned the current Black Panther is T'Challa before the rest of the team even knew the hero existed. Ant-Man It isn't just fame or fun that convinces some actors to take a superhero role, but a chance to make a movie their kids can actually watch. With Ant-Man, star Paul Rudd gave them much, much more. When the ex-con gets out of prison, he can only find work at a Baskin-Robbins, using the fake name Jack and working with someone named Darby. Darby, could you just uh, take care of this idiot? Thanks. They weren't random choices. Those are the names of Rudd's two children making a cameo in the movie, in name only. Iron Man When director Jon Favreau brought Iron Man into the movie world, he brought Pepper Potts, Happy Hogan, and more Marvel characters along with it. But one didn't make the cut, Bambi Arbogast, Tony Stark's trusty and sometimes overbearing secretary. Since Tony didn't spend much time in the office, Bambi wasn't needed. But Favreau and Robert Downey Jr. didn't forget her, making a brief reference in Iron Man 2 and in Iron Man 3. That Bambi, Stark has it? and continues to maintain. Excuse me, Bambi. Confirming that she does exist in the movie universe, just slightly off screen. X-Men Days of Future Past 
Mystique might have kicked off the terrible future of this X-Men reboot, but she also took the time to extract a group of young mutants from Saigon. To do it, she disguised herself as a US Army colonel before she was forced to rely on her fists and feet. It's a heroic act, but when you notice that Mystique has disguised herself as Colonel Sanders, the founder and mascot of Kentucky Fried Chicken, it's clear she was still having fun. Those are the small details that comic book movie fans probably missed, but which ones have you left out? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more hidden details videos like this one. Click on the link and enjoy!